What the hell is that? What up everyone, it's Strange Charge 2 and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, guys, we went to the Dragon Ruins and met with the Perfection Call. And the dude was trying to merge Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kyurem together to form the original dragon. And then we had to battle him. It was a freaking tough-ass battle. I didn't do any work because I got to double-team him with Nora. All freaking praise to Nora. <laughs> so, some of you guys said in the comments, best girl, Nora. No, 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 best girl, Audrey. But thanks for doing my homework, Nora. That was such a major thing. We learned the main thing the Perfection Cult is trying to do, while all these other cults are just after, like, Darkrai, Groudon, Rayquaza, and freaking Kyogre. Thanks, Audrey. But these guys are, are trying to merge the dragons together and make the original dragon. They'd win. You, you make the original dragon, it's like Exodia. They obliterate. Like, that should be a thing in the game. If you have Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kyurem in your party, and you make Kyurem use, like, a certain move, you just win the battle. It just transforms and you win. Okay, but what's so cool about that last battle is you guys said that was actually the final battle of Insurgents. The final boss of Insurgents at one point in the past. I think the previous update, because we're playing the final game. We freaking, we have the full game here. But the last time they updated the game, that's where the game ended. That was the final boss. They left you there. And why it makes sense is because they gave you the Tesseract, which you guys told me a lot about. You guys said there's a bunch of spots now across the Torn region that I can actually mess with time. Pull things out of the past. Some of them I can go into the past. I don't know how some of it works. We are going to see one of the spots later in this episode. But it's just so crazy to let that sink in. Because this game throws so much at us. It's so easy to just forget about it and move on to the next thing. Looking for what they're going to do next. But if you think about some of the stuff, they've been crazy. The game probably ended with Best Girl Audrey's arc. And now the game ended here with Ty and using the three dragons against us. Anyhow, my dudes, I'm going to cut to the recording I did of this episode right after the last one. You're going to see us using the Tesseract for the first time, as well as us dealing with the freaking hideous monster that lives in Celine City. That's actually really cool. And then if we have time, we'll cut back to me and we'll continue doing some other stuff. All right. So in today's episode, guys, we're going to go back to the other town. One step, one... God damn you doing here. It's like Dragon Spiral Tower. Let me go home, guys. I need to freaking put my repels. First of all, I'm going to head back to the city before this, and then we can talk there. But we did get this one ability that Nora gave us, and it allows us to freaking mess with time. We going to do it right now. F this. Yo, this is what you do. Tesseract. Why Tesseract? I don't know, but it's that freaking cube and a cube thing. When you take three dimensions to an extra one, and you get a, a cube and a cube. Something, all right? All right, Tesseract. We just got to step to this. Something appeared from the past. What the hell? Is that a lava bergmite? My dude, what is going on? What are you just sitting there for? We pulled it out of the past? But dude, what the hell? Hello? He's like, are you my mommy? I ain't crap. Wow. It's an ancient Bergmite. Y'all froze after the Ice Age. Yo, that's a freaking way to strike this crap. All right, my dude, I'm going to give you a quick ball. Are you okay with that? Do you not like quick balls? Please tell me you like quick balls. But dude, we got a freaking Delta Bergmite. Where's this thing found? Is it found in... In the dragon ruins? Because I got a Charizard here, dude. Bergmite, the jagged rock Pokemon. A pure rock type. A Delta species discovered by Zero Breaker. Nearly impervious to physical attacks. Its rate of regeneration exceeds the damage that it does receive. Supposed to be like a physically defensive Pokemon? Armor dudes, leave me a nickname for a female Bergmite. It's a freaking pure rock type. Get it right. Don't give me Miley Cyrus. Goddamn, Celebi. You're gonna do that to me right now? Oh my god, dude, getting out of here is a mission. Can I fly? I can't fly in this game. Pick a taxi. Where's the pick a taxi guy? Why did he go home without me? I paid for the Uber and everything. That's what we need. We need a pick a Uber. Pick a Uber. All right, we freaking out. Guys, where's the hidden grotto of this place? I still haven't found a Pokemon. Y'all, cool. wait a minute. This is the dude who talked about the Stunfisk. No, it isn't. This guy. No, stop it. Stop it. Some creep with a stun fisk and a typhlosion. That should have been the hint that it was a mega st uh, typhlosion. But dude, that was insane. Last episode was crazy. Celine City. All right, so there is a couple things that we could actually do here. 
one one thing is I wanted to come here at nighttime and see if we could find some fox Pokemon that's been roaming around. Oh, she used to work at the gym. I was gonna just make a joke about how the granny should go back to the gym. My wife and I just moved here to Celine City for a change in scenery. But man, I think this city is haunted. I've heard rumors of a terrifying ghost haunting the streets at night. It has the head of a fox, so I've heard. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go outside and then we're gonna time travel. Boom. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. It's 6 30 a.m. in real time. Where is the fox demon? Why y'all out? While I can't believe how much of a foreshadow that Cresselia was. Did you see that? No, I don't care about your luck. I want to be lucky too. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Where is the, the, the freaking fox? Hello. All right, well, this is what we'll do. Let's freaking go in here. What is this? All right. Y'all know about this fox? Lafu is a world famous chef. Don't tell him, but nobody likes his food for the taste. Only for... Are you Lafu? They call me Lafu, the greatest chef of the Torn region. You supply the ingredients. Uh, I want something from a freaking forest store. Ah, yes, wonderful. This will require me to use one of potion. One of pearl, hell no, bye. Leave me the hell alone. None. You can cook me none. Wow, this is a big place. We used to have a dark type gym in Torin, but it was disbanded when the first auger disappeared. Persephone? That's right. Oh, yeah, the auger. Freaking slap me. The auger. We read that in a book. The auger was a dark type gym leader. He's the only one. There's no dark gym in the world. Finally, you do it, and then someone takes him away. Our gym leader, Diana, was chosen by a legendary Pokemon when she was young. That's probably why she's so strong today. Persephone, are you jealous of her? This lighthouse is more of a tower than anything else. There's no lights and only a few really small windows at the top. My dude, I'm about to steal your candy. Give me this candy. All right, my dudes, we're going to continue exploring. We're going to see what else this town has to offer. City, I'm sorry. Freaking city. Dude, what are you trying to hide for? Let me know if you figure out what it does. Figure out what what does. I got to freaking heal up, dude. Who the hell is that? Who is that? My dude, I'm going upstairs. Hello, lady. <laughs> Do I know you from somewhere? Sup, Damo. Good to see you around. Remember me? Oh! Xavier, is, isn't he a gym leader from Vipic City? Okay, you look scary, dude. What? Mega Bong? Why do you have a Bong? <laughs> what? Xavier, why? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Celine City is one of my favorite places. The creepy aura of the area just gets me. I love it here. Yeah, just chilling here. I was wondering what the crap was going on. Who the hell are you? I'm very interested in a restyle. I've been looking the same way for way too long. You know, it's almost like a 20th of the population of Torin dresses exactly like me. Yeah, I wonder why. Why do y'all freak? You need some devil horns. Ack. Oh, you're only a kid. I thought you were the beast. You do know about the beast, right? The beauty? It truly is a dark time we live in. My dude, I don't know. I don't know about the beast. I'm sorry. Oh, why did I say yes? No. I suppose you wouldn't. I haven't seen you around these parts. Every night after the sun sets, the shadows join together and form a most magnificent and horrifying creature. It resembles a Pokemon of some sort. But it's unlike any I've ever seen. Its limbs all resemble those of different animals. It can't even be battled as nobody knows what it truly is. It never has been defeated. My oh, dude, you're talking about Type Null? He ain't alive yet. Is there a Type Null in this game? What the crap, man? What is going on? Man, what a spooky town this is, huh? All these rumors flying around. I don't like it. Not one bit. Dude, I would love it. I want some freaking life in my neighborhood. I want to hear about some ghosts and crap. I love, love, love this city. It's so pretty. And I love the vibe it has. The mystic vibes. There are so many cool things I've learned here. Let me show you some. You want to split your pain with me? Uh, ominous wind? Oh, damn. Budget. But what does the ominous wind do? Nah, I don't want to raise all my stats. F that. All right, Xavier, I'm going home. My dude, uh, can I dive here or something? Should I dive? But dude, you can dive? Hold up, man. I wanna... 
Is there a way to freaking... Is there a way to trigger the freaking fox Pokemon? I'm gonna figure this out, guys. Even if it takes me an hour, I'm gonna cut it down and figure this out. I saw a bizarre creature last night with the torso of a chicken. It was wrapped in smoke. It scared the... What? Yo, that's a science experiment-ass Pokemon. How do you have the torso of a chicken? God damn, a Magnezone. Zone, 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 zone. Chill. Chill. Ain't my zone. Get out of my zone. You, we should trade Pokemon. It'd be super sweet. You got a Pupitar? That'd be a Pokemon you want, right? Yeah. Freaking crunch? How about you give me another rock type in exchange? I don't got a rock type. I don't have an encounter in this city. I can get my Tyranitar. I need to get a rock type, guys. What? Silly City is my favorite city in the region because it has the best parts of crap. Guys, we got to freaking do that. At night, there's a terrifying beast that wanders through the town. Nobody, as far as I know, has seen its full body. I've only seen one part of it. Its limbs. They look like a tiger's. Torso of a chicken. What did he What did she say? The head of a tiger? How many of you guys have seen this crap? Y'all seen it too? My dude, I don't think they would just say all that stuff if there is no Pokemon to freaking find. I want to freaking see this thing. Pika Taxi? Because actually, you know something. Take me to it. You got nothing? You got freaking nothing. But dudes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dive. I'm gonna have to dive. I have to dive. I gotta figure this mystery out. You're chilling in here. You come out of here every night. Where the hell am I? Listen, if you got multiple limbs like some type null, I bet you type null can swim. Oh my god, dude. Mysterious hideaway? What is this crap? Who lives here? Wait, I hit a grotto. I see that crap. How much is there to explore in this game? This is what happens when you go through the plot so quickly. You miss out on so freaking much. My dude, we can't do this right now. We'll save that for a bit. I need to figure out this fox crap first. Listen, is it not late enough? I, I, like I said, it's freaking 630. How about I said it's a freaking 2 a.m.? How's 2 a.m. sound? Oh my god, it got darker. Okay. Freaking Persian. Can I just see it wandering around or what? Wait. Whoa! Oh! Sh it's what? It's just wandering around. Hello. Hello. Hello, friend. My dude, what the hell is that? Is that a Persian? Is that a Lugia on four legs? Get out of my budget. That is amazing. How come Pokemon doesn't do this? I've been so long trying to figure this out. Hello. <laughs> Meow back to you. What the hell is that? It's clearly a Delta Pokemon. No, I come back. No. No, what did it, what was I supposed to do? It runs away. My dude, yo, Granny, do you know about this? No, stop it. Granny, you work in a gym. Guys, what the hell was that? It was like a Persian, a Delta Persian. Level 45 Delta Persian? How come I wanted to see its body? Hold up. It was a lot like the Marowak, the ghost of the Cubone mother. It had no form, and you couldn't battle it either. But does someone have like a self scope? You know, this actually makes sense. People were hallucinating. It must be that. There's no way y'all got a freaking torso of a chicken. Come on. But dudes, I'm gonna be running your- You're back! Hey! You a male this time! Why do you keep running away? Guys, do you have to- You know what? Maybe you have to encounter it enough times. Look, it's gonna be right under me. Look at that crap. Dude, I wanna throw a master ball. I want that thing. This is so cool, dude. It's it's like the Marowak. It has no form. You can't battle it. I gotta figure this out. Um, kid, you weren't here before. Shh, I'm hiding from the monster. The creature with the tail of a snake. 
Nobody can fight it because they don't even know what it looks like. They are hallucinating. No one knows what it looks like. How are you going to say it has the torso of a chicken, head of a tiger, tail of a snake? A snake is a freaking tail. My dude, uh, freaking Persian, come back. Come back. I'm the prince. I'm the prince. Let me in. I'm talking to the prince. Hello. Oh, whoa. What? It's a Delta Leopard. It does... What happened to you? It's like a type no leopard. Head of a, uh, a tiger. Torso of a chicken. I don't see a chicken. The tail of a snake. It freaking glowed like it had eyes. Guys, I want this thing. Look, my dude. I know there's that larvitar in this area, but I want to catch this thing. I want to see what it's up about. Even if I can't use it because I'm going to get the larvitar. I'm a thunder wave. I can't believe it. D Did you just have to talk to people to identify the different parts of it? I thought people were hallucinating. I really did. I don't know what type this thing is. It's probably a normal type. Yo, I'm a, I want to catch it in a nice ball. Great ball. F it. Just go in a ball. Oh, come on. Wow. All right. Ultra ball. I feel bad. Ultra I should dusk ball it. I caught it. Dude, what the hell? This is so sad. The Deceit... Ghost Fairy? The Deceit Pokemon. This Pokemon makes use of illusions and trickery to catch its prey. Wow. Not submitted by anyone. I don't know if I can use it. I just wanted to do the side quest. I'm so glad you could actually end up catching it and all. That is freaking amazing. A Leopard. So... Is it gone? Is it freaking gone forever? Dude, I'm so sad. That's one thing I hate about freaking side quests. You go to power plant in the Kanto games, you catch the Zapdos, it's gone forever. I'd rather not catch it. Stay there chilling as a bird. Guys, I want to talk to people and see what they say. They wouldn't obviously detect that it just disappeared, but... Okay, I know one of them is this girl. I saw a bizarre creature last night with the torso of a chicken. I don't get it. How the hell did y'all see just one part of it and crap? My dude, little... What is he doing? He wasn't a ghost. He was hiding. But, dude, that's scary. All right, my dudes. Hey, look. It's me, real-time T-Tar. Look, so that was pretty crazy. The freaking Tesseract using it to get the Bergmite as well as the Delta freaking Leopard. That was so crazy. It actually is. That's, that's got to be, like, the first nasty Delta Pokemon. So I fought this guy off screen for you guys. Our team is a bit leveled up. Look at this. We got Dyson level 59. This is crazy. Junior Whopper 58. Did I read that as 59, man? Quaggle 56, Zor 56, Budget 66, and Mizu at 62. So as you can see, Zor and Quaggle are the weakest on our team. We got to be leveling them up. But there's so many things you guys said to do. God, we're going to have a full list of crap to do in the next episode as well. But hold on, we got to do a few things. We're going to actually head back to Anastasia's city. So, yeah, I'm interested, dude. Anas dude, look at this map. Look how much we covered. This is not a pleasant sight. I don't want to... Oh, Kepler. I don't want to know we finished this much, dude. All right, Kepler City. So, first things first, my dudes. We caught a bunch of Pokemon in the last few episodes. Let's take a look at them. Especially the freaking Charizard. My dude, Charizard. All right, I got to quickly organize these guys. So, we caught the Charizard in the last episode. As well as the Bergmite with Solid Rock. That's such a good ability. And Leopard, which is Ghost... It has Illusion? Wow, it has illusion, guys. That is amazing. It's a that's why. Oh my god, the whole thing with chasing it down. No one can see it because it's an illusion. It's kind of crazy to think that the perfection cult's the one who made all these Pokemon. At least I think. It was cut from the Delta incident. I don't know. But this thing must have been a science experiment. But this thing has freaking illusion. This would be so cool to freaking use. Ghost Fairy? Being that's so crazy. Like with Zora, the biggest thing is when you're a disguised dark type. And, like, freaking Ultra Necrozma can't hit you with its psychic moves. With this thing, it's immune to fighting normal and dragon moves. That's kind of overpowered. But, my dudes, these guys are a bit off, off axis. Because Bergmite was caught in the same area as Charizard. And Leopard, F Leopard, if there's a freaking Pupitar ready to trade. I just did that for the side quest sake. But, Blaze. Blaze is not your name. Charizard, look at his XP points. How'd you get 1 minus 200,000? He's a freaking lonely nature. Hey, that's good. 
I mean, you might die because you lost your defense, but that's good. Being a mixed attacker is perfect. What the hell, Cabbage? Being a mixed attacker is perfectly fine. So, just for the sake of it, guys, we're going to put him on the team for a bit. We'll place Mizu. Mizu, chill. It's only for a minute. Just for a goddamn minute. And I asked you guys in the comments to give some nicknames for this Charizard. So, I don't know the nickname yet. I'm going to go to the name raider, and then I'm going to look through the comments off screen. All right, I'll record it. I'll record me looking at the comments. All right, so Igniel or Natsu is the mo one most suggested. Name the Charizard Jojo? What is, why? Wait, wait, wait. Name the Charizard Hamilton. <laughs> Someone said that to me in the past. I'll call him Hamilton. Name the Charizard Crispy Wings. That's not bad. Hey, I always call my Charizard Aragon. Dude, I remember when that book came out. No, not the only, that was the only book out. That was, I actually read it. That was interesting. But dude, don't talk about books. Ugandan lizard. Why are we spending time on this? Charminda. Wow. He just wants to use you to win matches. Charmander. 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 Bahamut. Hey, that's not bad. It's the Final Fantasy thing. Name your Charizard Hot Wings. Wow. This is the Hot Wings. Name your Charizard. How many? Oh my God. Hold on. That might be the one. But how am I going to name it Hot Wings if Blaziken's Hot Wings? My dude. What happened? Harry Hotter. <laughs> Name the Charizard Buncolo. My dude, where did Buncolo come from? My dude, I'll satisfy it. Buncolo. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Buncolo. Oh my goodness. We actually got the buns for our burger now. My dude, just. Oh my. Wow. That looks like a Charizard Y. This is crazy. They need to make freaking f f red and blue remakes. Have I just want to see this site in on the Switch. No, I don't know how many people agree with that. Red and blue remakes means uh, that's the game for the year. A lot of people don't agree with that. I mean, they might do it if they want to just test out the engine and crap, but is that really what they want to do? All right, second thing, my dudes. We got a fire type on the team. Do we really? I don't think we do. I don't know if Charizard's staying, but <laughs> are we really getting rid of Mizu? I don't think so, but we got a freaking Rotom, guys. Let's change the form of this Rotom. I'm going to put it in the front so that I can see its form change. Let's just mess with them. Uh, we got a water type already, so we can't go for the washing machine. This Rotom looks freaking shiny. Like, look, you go beside the toaster. That's what you used to look like. Oh, my God. You can see it. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. A fridge form? That's a dragon slayer. A washing machine. This is so cool when it follows you. Oh, my God. The fan form. You guys said the fan form is actually good. Being flying electric. I do agree. Oh, my God. It's freaking keeping me cool. This is a personal AC. It's good because it's, of course, Zapdos is typing. My dude, you mow the lawn behind me. Ain't no one gonna know I've been here. Look at this, my dudes. Anywhere I go, I could go knock on the neighbor's house, go run around their lawn, get 40 bucks off of them. My dudes, help. There's a freaking lawnmower chasing me. This could be terrifying. What if this raw time ain't listening to me? This is like a cartoon scene. Wow, did we really just go with lawnmower form? Armor right, dude, there's so many things to do. We're gonna do them all in the next episode. But to not end you guys off yet, let's go and deal with one of the test rack things right now. This one's gonna be really cool. Maelstrom 9. Audrey! Audrey died in there, guys. So here, I gotta take the pick a taxi guy. He gave me the VIP pass! It's free! I was wondering, he kept saying, if you use my service enough, I'll give you the pass. We had to talk to him 15 times. My dude, you're my homie now. I've been shredded. I've been shredded, guys. Look at them. They never stop. All right, we're in this town because you guys said to go back to the power farm. Which, if you guys don't know what that is, this is going to be so cool, dude. The Tesseract's got to be the coolest thing. The power farm is right in there. It's where we went when we had to find Dyson, our fan. My dude, we can't have two fans. That's why we couldn't go for Rotom fan. But dude, I'm just, I'm just, I've just got like an appliance burger restaurant. Like I could open up a burger store and got all my freaking stuff ready. Okay, did I find a Pokemon here? I don't think so. You know what? Hold up. Don't I need a rock type? I need a rock type, right? Hold up. Maybe we should do this. Maybe we should let me get my encounter. That mellow what a puzzle, dude. I can't even talk to it anymore. Hello, encounter? Please be a rock type. Be a rock type. It's a rock. It's no. It's my dude. It's freaking busy. Y'all remember busy? It took me a second to recognize you. That was what you were. You were my freaking busy. My dude, no. Busy. Oh, busy. You're getting ready for the freaking capture. Why did you share with me, busy? You made me weaker. My dude, busy. <laughs> he was pretty useful when we caught him. We was way in the beginning of the game, like episode what four? It's like when we first met Nora. My dude, busy. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to trade you away. In fact, I'm gonna give you a bad ball. 
I'm gonna give you a bad ball, Busy. You know why I nicknamed him Busy? Because he sits there making berry juice all day. You give him a berry, you turn your head, look, it's been turned into juice. My dude, I need you for my restaurant. Yo, maybe we shouldn't trade him away. Maybe we shouldn't trade Busy away. Oh my goodness, dude, we may have made a mistake. May have made a mistake? All right, let's freaking take the lawnmower. You better be paying me for this service. Y'all know I'm keeping it clean. All right, let's freaking see if it's true. Power farm. Look at this place. It's like an abandoned farm. But what are these things, man? I guess electrical towers. Dude, there, there is. My dude, this is, this is, cr oh my God, I'm freaking burning. My lawnmower. Dude, hold on. So this is a spot where there's a tear in time space. So, using Celebi, we can manipulate it and do something with it. It's kind of like the, the time rings, guys. Everyone watched the Dragon Ball Super. That's the hot thing. Look at this. Tesseract. The freaking cube in a cube. Celebi! Celebi, let's go! Don't stand directly on the rift! Excuse me, Quago! Queen Quago! Celebi! <laughs> I mean, I, I know I could have got shredded. Like, half of me could have ended up in the past. But is that really bad? Celebi! Can I please? An item appeared from the past. Oh, dude. What the hell? A little shard like that? That's what the freaking... That's what East was sacrificed into. When Jaren sacrificed the gem leader. Whoa, Del... Whoa! Delta Besharpite? One variety of the mysterious Megasodes have Delta... I didn't expect... I... What? Hold on. You mean Delta Pokemon need a Delta Mega Stone? You can't give Delta Charizard the Charizard right? That's crazy. Y'all didn't say I'm gonna get a Mega Stone. I was expecting a Pokemon. But dude, we got a Mega Pokemon on the team then. Wasn't it last episode I was saying we got no Megas? Give me the XP share. My dude, let's freaking give it to him. The Delta. Dude, Dyson might be the strongest one on the team right now. Dude, we're gonna have to check that out in the next episode. In fact, let's, let's just have Dyson following us for now. Alright, my dudes, we did a bunch of different things. That's gonna be it for this episode. Be sure to smack the like button if you guys enjoyed it. In the next episode, guys, we're gonna do a bunch more things. We might move on with the plot because there's freaking so much to do. Because you guys said there's so many spots to visit, so many side quests, like the freaking Leopard thing. That's so cool that they added in this game. But be sure to smack the like button if you guys enjoyed it, guys. If we can get this to 4,000 likes, my dudes, I'll upload the next part right away. But as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.